go to the tools panel of Affinity Photo and select the rectangle tool. With that, create it right across the screen. Then go to the gradient tool, because what I want to do, I want to fill it with a gradient. So I'm just going to fill it with the current color. That's what it's going to do. So it might be white or it might be green and just drag it across. Now you can reposition it if you didn't do it exactly right. Just say there. So it's right both ends. Now what you can then do is you can edit it here if you want to. You can add stops all the way along this line. Personally, find it easier just to go up here. And this is the editor. So double click on there. And then once you've got that, this stop and that stop, you can see them there. You can't move them. However, you can change the color, luckily. You can also go to insert and insert again, and insert and insert. Now, I've done that because I want these stops. I'm just gonna select it. As Soon as I select it, I can then drag it. And I can enter a value here, I can say 20. Now you'll notice when I've selected it, it gets slightly bigger. So that one again, if I select that one, that's bigger now. That's the one that I'm currently editing. And I'm going to set that to 40. I'm going to set this one. And again, that's slightly bigger. And this time I'm going to put that to 60. And this one is going to be 80. So 80. And again, you can edit it or use the slider, etc. I think it's just as easy just to do it this way. So now I'm going to change the colors. So I'm going to go for red. And you change the color here click there, and probably the best one to use, you could use any of them. But I'm gonna go with the RGB sliders, just as good as any. And then you can enter values of 255 and zero, combinations of. So this one's for red, so 255, five, then zero, and then zero. And then you've got red. Then you can select the next one. Just select that one there, that's the one at 20, and then that's gonna be the yellow. So 255, and again, just click down there. And again, unfortunately, it doesn't put the, uh, the correct values there. It would be nice if it put combinations of that. But this one I want is 255. Now, I'm quite possible to make a mistake on it, but you can see, oh, I have actually got it right. Zero. So two five, make certain it's all exactly right like that. Now go to the next one. And as soon as you select it again, you can see it's slightly bigger. And then this time, I'm going to go with, click there again, and then go for 0, 255, five, and then 0. And you can see it already becoming green. Then select this one, the 60, and again, go exactly the same, color, and then go for 0, 255, five, and 255. Five. And now you've got that. For the 80, let's go for the 80, and that's going to be zero. Put zero in it again, like I say, it doesn't unfortunately put it for you there. Zero and 255. And you can see now you've got the blue. And then you can do the last one. So the last one, that's at 100%, and then you just change the color there, and go for 255, and zero, and 255. And that's it, you've got your purple, ultraviolet, etc. So now go to the Tools panel in Affinity Photo and select the Move tool. With the Move tool, you can then select this rainbow gradient. And you can see now in the Swatches panel, you've got this rainbow gradient here, just in this section. If it's something else, red, green, blue, then that's not what it is. What you need to do, View, Studio, and Swatches to find the Swatches panel. Also, what you do, Go down here and you can click here and add it to the current category. Well, I'd suggest obviously gradients is going to be the best option. So select the gradients one and then click there. And you can see straight away it's added to your gradients. Obviously, for some weird reason, they don't they didn't add a rainbow gradient, nor many other gradients. I am not certain why Affinity Photo haven't done that, but however, what you can do, you can now apply obviously to other shapes. So maybe go for an ellipse tool. And so you've got that design there. Well, just click and you've got straight away a rainbow gradient. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.